Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to make this mechanism in Blender. So let's start. Before we start, make sure that you have Blender version 2.9.3. Okay, and this add-on will not work on latest version. So press A, X and delete. Click on add, mesh, uh, gear gen master test, uh, be well gear. Fifteen width now add fifteen thirteen. diameter select this gear R X minus 90 mm. select this shift as cursor to be selected select this shift as section to cursor Okay, as you can see that the width is not as much, so right click on it, click on add gear. So 15 and make this 30. And I will go to the width, increase this width as per my requirement. And select this gear, press R, Y. R by select this, press control A, apply rotation, select this, control A, apply rotation, shade smooth, shade smooth, uh, Click on add mesh and I need to add a gear. So let's add this one. Fifteen is fine. Select this gear, press G, Z and move it downwards. I think this mesh is fine. Press N. Make sure that you select this gear, click on add mesh, click on gauge and master test and increase the number of teeth as per your requirement. Forty, I think is fine. Click on 3D cursor and press R set. 90 uh, you can see that gear is not properly mesh so select this gear click on individual regions press R Z R Z select this press G Z Now how can I animate it? Uh, that's the main thing. So I know that this gear is uh, 15 teeth and this one has 30 teeth. So the gear ratio is uh, 1 ratio 2 or 2 ratio 1. Uh, if you know what I mean 1 ratio 2 and 2 ratio 1. Okay. So what I will do, select this gear. And I will make sure that they are all 0, 0. And select this one, it is also need to be 0, 0. So select this one. Right click on Z axis because I am going to rotate along Z axis. Add drivers. Where is the drivers? Z press N drivers. Uh, select this teeth and give it name uh, power gear because this is one that is transmitting power. And 
select this one so from which i want to take power gear what i want to take from this i want to take from y rotation as you can see the green line represent y axis so i want this y rotation so multiply by point minus 0 0.5 into variable so if i select this one and rotate along the axis you can see i'm getting the correct animation so make it zero uh, select this now select this one right click click on copy drivers select this one right click paste driver so if i rotate this one you can see i'm getting the animation good now what about this one so this one has 14 number of teeth and this one has 15 so what i can do uh, first like this press ctrl a and apply rotation make it zero zero right click on it click on add drivers so from where i'm going to take this i'm going to take this from spur gear one basically means this one and on here what i'm going to take i'm going to take that rotation so minus 15 divided by 40 into so let's see if it's working or not so so yeah i'm getting that perfect animation as per my requirement so let's just run it out and we are done So you can see this is auto clicks currently. Click on here on timeline. So select this one. Click on I. Click on rotation. And you have to move how much? Uh, let's say. Three sixty. And plus N. So I am going to take long axis. So I will type seven twenty. Plus I. So if I see and click on play animation. Uh, notice something when I play. It moves slowly, then fast, and then moves slowly. So select this keyframe, press T and click on linear. So they can all move at the same speed. So that's for all guys. I hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.